Stephen, maybe a hard one to take in the end, but you must take a lot of pride in the performance today. I'm ever so proud of the, the players. I thought the performance was outstanding. I thought the quality of play was outstanding. Um, sometimes things don't go your way in terms of decisions and luck. Um, VAR played a huge part in, in the results today. Um, but if you look back and, and see what we created, the quality of play, as I, as I say, and the performances of each individual, you know, the boys that came off the bench show how strong we are. And to make an Aberdeen side look average at times, then you know they're a good side. We've spent a lot of money. They've got a really good squad, um, and I think that that just shows how far we have come when we're celebrating like that, getting a point against us. So it's, um, it's nothing but credit to the players. Yeah, you've mentioned the quality of play there, the, the passion, the, the pressing of the boys today. How impressed were you with that? And you imagine be aware, aware of, of what those boys can do. Yeah, look, we've we've been like that from. From the start of the season, you know we've we've tweaked it a little bit in terms of shape. Um, I believe we've added quality in the top end of the pitch and more options to to go and win games, which you know we thought we had done with the two subs with Mega setting up Gravo. Um, I thought Toy was outstanding in the first 60 minutes as well. So you know, we've got live options. The the harder thing for me is to make um, only only pick 11 players. You know we've got some decisions to make, but to a man outstanding, the work ethic, the quality, um, and yeah, it's it's a frustrating that perhaps we didn't take all three. You've mentioned there as well, the little tweaks in the summer, how important did you feel they were? Yeah, look, uh, we were very, very hard to break down, we were very, very organised and functional, we struggled against 3-5-2 at times, um, but I thought today showed how far we've come, the previous game against 3-5-2 at Motherwell and Dundee, um, and wait, listen, if you're a St Marin fan at the minute, I'd like to think you're enjoying the football, you're enjoying the, the pace and the pace was rocking today, so, you know, it's a togetherness that's fantastic but the credit has to go to the players you know for the performances and energy and work ethic that they're they're putting on week on week it, does this have to be the kind of standard going forward yeah and it has been i think our standards were were set last season in terms of as i say the organization and the work ethic i believe as I, as i say again we've we've added more quality to the the top end of the pitch i believe the when you've got charles don and, and james bolton sitting on the bench just to mention a few then it shows you that we've recruited very well in my opinion We've created assets at the football club that perhaps weren't here before, and I say that that credit goes all to the players, to nobody else. They've, they've been magnificent. You brought Thierry Small back in yesterday. How important a signing is he going to be? Uh, it was a position at, at left wing back that we had no cover for. We've got none of the younger boys ready to step into that void. We were able to get young Luke Kenny out, uh, a fantastic loan with Cliftonville, a very good manager, and uh, you know it helps his development as well. But to get Thierry in, who can play. Obviously, left wing back, right wing back, and anywhere along the front three, if we're we're going to chase the game with you know his pace and strength. So I think it's a really good signing for us, and we you know we're happy. We, we've done the business we wanted to do, um, both in and out, and you know we're happy. And hopefully, nobody comes calling for for the boys I, I class as assets, which is all of them. Stephen, thanks very much for your time. Cheers, James.